Hey, what's up? It's Alex. Today, I want to talk about the English names for a couple of Chinese dialects that you might know how to speak. The first is the word Mandarin. Mandarin actually has a long and interesting history. It originally comes from the word mandri, which is Sanskrit for someone who speaks. This was adopted into the Malay language as the word mandri, which means somebody who gives orders. In ancient China, officials, or guan, spoke guanhua. Portuguese people were the first Europeans to learn guanhua. First, they learned Malay in order to trade with Malaysian people. Then, they went to China and learned guanhua. They knew the Malay word mandari, and they adopted it into Portuguese as mandarin to refer to the language spoken by these officials. Then English people learned this word from Portuguese people, and they called it Mandarin. The word Cantonese also comes from Portuguese, but it's got a shorter story. First, Portuguese people went to the province of Guangdong. They asked the locals how to say the name, and the locals said, Guangdong. The Portuguese people listened and said, okay, Gantong. Pretty close, right? English people heard Portuguese people saying Gantong, and they said Canton, a little bit further away. But that's how we get the word Cantonese. Next, the dialects spoken in Chaozhou and Fujian, and the dialect spoken by the Kejia people, are all English words as well. Except, of course, they use the own people's pronunciation. So when the local pronunciation is diu chiu, we say teo chu in English. Hokkien becomes hokkien, and hakka becomes haka. Wenzhou hua and Shanghai hua are really easy. We just take the name in pinyin and we add e's. So Wenzhou knees and Shanghai knees. That's pretty simple. Not many people in America know what Wenjonese is, but a lot of people in Europe do because there's a bigger Wenjonese population there. The last one is one that's kind of familiar to me growing up in California. In the city of San Francisco, there are a lot of people who come from Taishan in Guangdong, and some people refer to them with the Mandarin pronunciation of that language, so Taishanese. Other people use the Cantonese pronunciation, so Hoi Shanese, and still others say Hoi Shanese for Hoi San Va. So if you go to San Francisco, you'll probably see signs that say a Hoi Shanese restaurant, or a Toi Shanese restaurant, or maybe even a Tai Shanese restaurant. All of them belong to the same group of people from Hoi San.